Hello everybody, big warm welcome back to my YouTube channel. Excuse me, I'm just putting some stuff away. Me and Cooper just went to Asda after the school run to get a few bits and some of it is perishable. So I need to be putting stuff away. I thought I'd get these for Leo after school, a little after school treat because it is hot today. Yeah, it's nice and hot today guys. I hope it's hot for you as well, wherever you are. So it is, I don't know, 20 past nine in the morning. We have just dropped Leo off at school and Cooper is just playing over there while I put this stuff away. Just needed a few bits and bobs. You know, like a, an annoying sort of in-between shop, not a big food shop, just a in-between shop where we run out of certain stuff. Guys, I was in Asda, I think it was when I was paying, like at the self-checkout, and I basically I cut my finger last night making dinner, and it was just a small cut, I wasn't really thinking about it, but I was at the self-checkout, and I must have knocked it off something, and I made it open, and there was, yeah, there was blood all over my fingers, I've got some on my cardigan. Um, and I didn't have anything. I didn't notice till I was like, walking out of the shop. So I didn't have anything on me. Didn't even have a baby wipe or anything to stuff it. So I just grabbed my receipt <laughs> from Asda. Just used my Asda receipt to um, put some pressure on the wound, you know? So just popped a plaster on it. So that's all good. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this food away and then I can talk to you properly. Coopy, Cooper, oi, he's trying to get to the dog toys, no, they're dog toys, come on, come on, no, no dog toys, back in the kitchen, come on, guys he is so close to walking but he just will not do it on his own, as soon as anyone lets go he just sits down, and he won't do it on his own. No, he won't. He just, he plays by his own rules, Coops. He is the king. All right, let by let go. There. <laughs> so I am trying to keep Cooper awake for a little bit longer today. Normally, if you're a subscriber, you'll know our little routine. Normally is he would, hello, up to no good is he would fall asleep on the school run on the way home and then I would just transfer him up into his cot that's just what we do but I'm really really trying to transition into one nap in the hope that he ends up lying in a little bit later than 5am <laughs> that's the hope if he has one nap instead of two that maybe he will sleep a little bit longer in the morning so I'm trying to stretch out his nap as much as I can. I don't think I'll probably get him any later than like 10 a.m. because obviously he was up at five. But if I just get it a little bit later every day, maybe that's the goal. It's not gonna happen overnight. Like these transitions don't happen overnight, but we are on the journey of the transition. So yeah, I'm gonna try and keep him awake till like 10 at the earliest if I can. And then he can have his morning nap and I can get on with my day. I've got some work, bits and bobs to do today. I need to film a little bit of content for a brand that I work with um, every month or so. And yeah, edit that and get that sent across to them. So I'm going to do that when he goes down, probably. Also, okay, big thing on my to-do list today. And please don't think that I have completely lost my mind, okay? So guys, there are some very exciting, very large packages taking up the majority of my living room right now. They have been sat here for about a week and today is the day that I'm finally going to open them. I've already had a little sneaky peeky and that one, as you can see, this one, I have not touched. Believe me when I say that hear me out, okay, because there's very good reason for this, but this is a Christmas tree. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, I am aware that it's July and I'm filming this on like a hot day. I've literally just put sun cream on my son, sent him to school, and now I'm coming home and opening a Christmas tree. But just hear me out. One, because you are not going to believe how stunning this Christmas stuff is. And two, I have a very, very good reason for opening up a Christmas tree in July. So yeah, just wait for this. I'll wait till Cooper's asleep and I will explain all. Okay, he has gone down. It's just gone past 10 a.m. Couldn't really leave him any longer. He was getting miserable. I think he was just gonna fall asleep on me. But yeah, he has gone down. So first thing I need to do this morning is crack on with this um, content that I need to make for a brand. And the room I wanna film in currently looks like this. Obviously, I need to do something about that. Then I need to eat. <laughs> Haven't eaten yet. But yeah, this is um, this is something I need to do while he is like asleep and out of the way. So I'm gonna get on and do this, and then I'll come and pick you up again and get something to eat. Okay, that job is all done, and I've literally just edited it all and sent it all. Off. so that's all done the main thing that i wanted to do while he is asleep he is still asleep i'm really hoping that he's gonna make it through to like midday so if he slept like 10 till 12 like midday then he'll wake up have his lunch and i will try and take him through all the way to bedtime yeah it's a bit tricky when you're in these transition periods but hopefully if i get another hour out of him will be all good. Now my plan was now to take you in there, unbox the tree, show you all of that, but now I'm panicking that it'll be really loud unboxing it. <laughs> so my new plan is that I will unbox the tree when he is awake, just in case I wake him up. I can, I can show you the other bits that I got as well. And I will explain why. <laughs> why i am talking about christmas in july okay guys so this tree and all of the decorations i'm going to show you are all from balsam hill now i'm pretty certain you've probably heard of balsam hill they are renowned for their luxurious christmas trees and decorations so when balsam hill asked me if i would like a christmas tree and some decks literally like yeah i was just about to say it's like christmas came early <laughs> I swear I didn't plan to say that but yeah that pretty much sums it up Christmas came early so this is a stunning eight foot I literally got the biggest one I could physically fit in my house tree that I will I haven't even seen it obviously but we will unbox this when Koopy's awake so the reason that we are talking about Balsam Hill in July is because they have a huge Christmas in July sale it is such a great way to bag a bargain guys they do a huge sale every July because obviously that's not when people tend to think about Christmas because you're in July but if you're smart you will get in there early grab your bargains in July when they've got this huge sale and then come Christmas time you're all set and you're laughing. I'm not going to show you this just yet, but I will show you the other bits I got. So these are the Balsam Hill Essentials Mercury Glass Ornaments in Mini Silver, a set of 24. And just look how carefully everything's been packed. So stunning. And you wait till you see these, honestly. I've only taken one out. But, oh my gosh. How gorgeous are they? They're all glass literally scared to unpack it very safe aren't they stunning so i got a pack of 24 of those i got this incredible tree skirt it is so stunning isn't it it's literally exactly the same seagrass as the baskets i have in my living room there and obviously the two The two obviously link together to go around the base of the tree like this this is for a tree to fit my size i wasn't sure which size tree skirt to get but as i'd ordered the eight foot tree the lovely lady at balsam hill assured me that this was the size that i would need now these in here i haven't probably got out yet i opened it just to have a little sneak but these are i'm trying to read it upside down hold on the norway spruce garland you get a pack of two they are 10 foot long i think so they're pretty pretty big but they're also all pre-lit as you can see i'm gonna get one out so we can have a proper look 
Oh my god, guys, they're absolutely ginormous. I felt like I was taking like a boa constrictor out of the box. It just kept coming and coming. But they feel incredible. Balsam Hill are obviously famous for being incredibly realistic and obviously when you put this up you will play around with all of the branches spread them all out make them nice and bushy but isn't he beautiful should we turn him on oh i don't have any batteries in the house how annoying is that but it says this is good there are different cycles to choose from four hours on 20 hours off six on 18 off or eight on 16 off that's handy isn't it you don't even have to think about turning it on basically i got two of these because my thoughts are window window that's my thoughts the big tree the big boy over there i'm actually thinking is going to go in the kitchen this year i usually have the tree in here but honestly like like we only really come in here in the evenings when the kids are in bed and yeah i want the tree to be in like the main room where we are all the time which is the kitchen so i think that's where i want to put him i might have to move things around a little bit but yeah when cooper's awake later we can have a look at this and open it up <laughs> i don't want to do it now because i'm not risking anything waking this baby up like i said these transitions you have to tread carefully and you've got to do it right so i think i'm going to go and do some emails and bits before he wakes up. Look who's awake! <gasps> Hello! Hello, gorgeous boy! Yeah? Do you sit you down? Oh! There's my angel. There. Do you want some toys? Do you like, darling? Some toys? What we got? Ta! Ice cream? Easy to just tip it out, really, isn't it? Then you can just help yourself, can't you, buddy? Oh, well, he has just had a lovely long sleep, so my plan worked. He went 10 till half 12, and, yeah, should easily get to bedtime now without a second nap. And then, maybe, after, you know, a good week or so of doing this, he'll actually learn to sleep longer than 5 a.m., maybe. But like I just said, it's like half 12 now, so he will want his lunch. I'm gonna make him some lunches. And my mum is coming over in about half an hour just to have, um, to see us really, no special occasion. Just come round, sit in the garden, have a cup of tea. Yeah? Grandma coming? Is she? They don't come off. Yeah. They don't come off. Leo from school. I'm just going to turn on the telly for him. Gigantosaurus. And he just spent about an hour deciding whether to have an ice cream or whether to have one of the biscuits from his cupboard. But we went with ice cream in the end. Is it good? <laughs> Sorry if you can hear cartoons in the background. <laughs> um, yeah, so my my mum came over from this utility where it's quiet. Mum came over and um, it was sweet, she bought like a little bag of um, lunch stuff, so we made some baguettes with some brie and some ham and had some cakes and drinks in the garden uh, with Koopy for a couple of hours, it was really lovely. And then obviously I went to get Leo from school, so now he's home, I need to look at my tree. Just safe to do so because no one's asleep in the house. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do next before I start getting dinner ready or anything, is um, yeah. Have a little sneaky peek at my new dream.
Oh my gosh. It is huge, huge. Like just fits. That top branch needs to be straightened. Obviously that's where I would have a star anyway. But as you can see, it is literally touching my ceiling. I couldn't have gone any bigger. But I'm so glad I got the eight footer. I just wanna give you a close up of like the detail. Like obviously, you know, touch it, Koopy. Obviously it's so hard to tell through camera, but it just feels so realistic. When I put on those gloves, I was like, I'm not gonna need these gloves. I've put up many, many trees, but you do need the gloves because it feels like a real tree. Even like the middle looks like real wood. It is incredible. I need to fluff it up a lot more. So many branches. It would honestly take so long to fluff it up completely. And um, yeah, I had the boys obviously in the, um, in the other room, so I couldn't take too long, but wow, really, really happy with it. And with the skirt and all of those beautiful mercury glass baubles, it is just going to look incredible. But yeah, I can see myself in December putting up this baby when the kids are in bed, fluffing up every single branch with a glass of mulled wine. I cannot off the top of my head remember what this exact model of tree is called. Okay. But I will, um, I'll find out and I'll put it in the description box because it looks so real, doesn't it? it? Genuinely looks like I've just picked it off a Christmas tree farm. I've just hung up a few of these mercury decorations just to get like an idea of them. And they are so beautiful and hang so well on the tree. Also, obviously being glass, I was a bit worried about them like falling off, but what you can actually do is the branches are slightly bendy, so you can just bend it up a little bit so that you know that your baubles are safe, but yeah, they look glorious on the tree. I feel a bit sad to take it down, to be honest, but only six more months and he will be up. Pro. Handles at each end so two people can carry. There you go. And oh. Prince just pointed out that there is a handle at each end so two people can carry it because this tree, if you get an eight footer, it is heavy. Seriously heavy. But there you go. All packed away for the next six months. Look at this. King of chilled. Don't mind me with my foot on the table while I eat a slice of pizza. It's very relaxed, isn't he, Leo? Yeah. <laughs> we I know he has. He's so cheeky, isn't he? Oh, you're too big to get away with that, I'm afraid. Thank you. You know better. Get those feet down. The boys are just having some pizza for dinner this evening. And then when they've finished, I will um, get their bath ready. Get ready for bath time, bedtime, and yeah, you know the rest, basically. Brilliant things. You are not watching Stranger Things. You, you are. Me and Daddy love Stranger Things. It is scary though, for grown-ups. <laughs> not for little boys. I know, I know, I know what Stranger Things is. What? It's a, it's, it's a, it's a film with, with monsters in it. It has got monsters in it, yeah. <laughs> but it's really scary, you, wouldn't, you would not like it. Or maybe you would, but you're not watching it. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to sort these boys out, put them in the bath, put them to bed, and then I will, um, yeah, take down my beautiful balsam tree hill. Why? And... So you can take down it? Yeah, I only put it up for, for today's video. It's not staying. Do you want it to stay? Yeah. It's summer. You can't keep it's it up. The, the neighbours are going to think I'm crazy if I keep the tree up. I need to take it down. To drink. Hold on, I forgot to get Cooper a drink. So yeah, I'm going to yeah. end, end my vlog. So I can get the boys all sorted, but thank you for watching and I will see you all in my next video.